What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Son of Attack once again, and I am late for this week's episode. I do apologize for that. Typically, it's every Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we haven't missed one up until now, so I do apologize. Next week, we'll actually be doing it live from DreamHack, so if you're curious about that, definitely make sure that you've hit the sub button. But today's the typical pre-recorded episode of Mining Rig Wars, episode 29, to vote for your favorite rig, click the little exclamation point, or I, I believe it's an I, up in the corner, and there'll be a poll that you can vote for your favorite rig, and they will be rigs A through rig E. And then if you would like to submit, make sure you email submissions at sonofatech.com, or down below here, of course, I'll link an email that you can email at submissions at sonofatech.com right there. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Welcome back. Starting things off, we have Rig A Optane by Matt. He's rocking eight MSI RX 580 Gaming X editions, the eight gigabyte models, eight U-bit PCIe risers, two M.2 PCIe adapters, and eight Corsair Quiet SP120 fans that he's using in exhaust. And he's got one fan hub, one seller on processor at 2.9 gigahertz. I assume that's going to be G4400 or the likes, maybe a 3930. The Ballistic Sport, four gigabytes of DDR4. The motherboard's gonna be the Asus Z270P, and he's got a single 150 gigabyte solid state drive, a single 850 watt power supply, and a Corsair AX1200. I assume here at this point that that Corsair AX1200 is powering all of the GPUs while that 850 might do a little bit of supplementing on the GPUs and of course is running all of the rest of the components. His total hash rate is 253 mega hash a second. Moving on to Rig B Superman by Sean. This is one of the most original ones I've seen pretty much ever. You probably have seen it in the intro before. Uh, it's basically a mirror that is a wall mount for all of his graphics cards. He's rocking four GeForce Gigabyte GTX 1050 Ti's and four EVGA GTX 1050 for the win editions. The motherboard is the ASUS B250 Mining Expert and he has a single 1600 watt power supply for everything. There are no more additional details here on the hash rate or the likes, so a little disappointed there. However, just being able to take a look at this, which is essentially a Superman mirror, it looks like, with a whole bunch of graphics cards on it, is a treat in and of itself, so thanks for the submission. Rig C Luna is by Gabe, and he is rocking the ASRock AB350 Pro 4 AM4 motherboard with a Ryzen 3 1200 processor. This is probably one of the first rigs I've seen Ryzen be used in and so that's notable. The real question here is the max amount of GPUs that AB350 can run, but maybe we'll find out at least how many he's got on here in this case. He's got the Corsair HX1200i power supply, a Western Digital Green 120 gigabyte SSD, crucial eight gigabytes of DDR4 with four Cooler Master silent 120 millimeter fans and five gigabyte Radeon RX 580s, with of course the powered risers. The total hash rate is 110 mega hash a second and I bet he could get some hash out of that Ryzen 3 1200 whether that's going to be on Kryptonite or Kryptonite Light or Kryptonite Heavy that's up to him of course. For CPUs at this time I do recommend Kryptonite Light because of that requirement of only one megabytes of L3 cache. So you could run all threads on that particular setup. Next we have Rig D Zij Alpha, I think Z-I-J Alpha by Zoran. And he's rocking the ASRock H81 Pro motherboard with the Celeron G1840. And that's a little bit of an older mining setup. Super awesome to see out here in the wild once again with four gigabytes of DDR3 memory an 80 gigabyte hard drive, and six Sapphire RX 564 gigabytes with an EVGA 750 watt power supply. His total hash rate is 80 mega hash a second. 
Finally, we have Rig E, the Zotac machine by Adam. I would assume that with this name, we're looking at a whole bunch of Zotac GPUs. Of course, the motherboard is the ASUS ROG Strix Z270E motherboard. Pretty expensive motherboard there to be running, but awesome nonetheless with the G3930 processor. He's got 8 gigabytes of memory from Crucial, of course DDR4 there, and the Kingston 120 gigabyte solid state drive. He is running the add to PSU for dual PSU setups. One of them is the Supernova 1000 watt and the other is the Supernova 750 watt. He has six powered risers from Victony, which I've actually never heard of, but of course risers are one of those things that are a little bit hard to brand, have brand awareness for at this point yet. Maybe at one point somebody will. Uh, 320 millimeter fans from Delta and six Zotac GTX 1080 amped editions and that's where the name comes from. He has 3200 solutions a second. Going back through these of course I really do think if you're looking at an example of what you should be trying to build out the rig E here the Zotac machine is a perfect example of building a rig that should show pretty good reliability and 24 7 running time uh, for the most part i don't think there's anything here that i take a look at and say oh you know that's bad of course you don't need uh, an asus rog strix motherboard you could probably save a little bit of money on that and then of course save some money on the memory by knocking down from eight gigabytes to four gigabytes and all that aside everything else looks pretty on point the same goes for Rig D, Zig Alpha, where you do have pretty much a perfect example while being a little bit of an older parts with that H81 motherboard, but nonetheless a perfect example of a rig. You have a perfectly laid out frame and you have matching cards as well as of course just the Celeron, four gigabytes of memory, not eight and a small 80 gigabyte hard drive for whatever OS he's booting. Of course, the hash rate's a little low with those RX 564 gigabytes. You will have to go through and flash all of those. And right now, if you're looking at doing this or picking these cards up, the flashing process has gotten a lot more difficult. And I wanted to note that the reason it has is because 1803, which is the latest version for Windows 10, has pulled support for that hardware level writing so if you're going to be picking up cards like this make sure you have an older build of windows 1709 is still working it's what i keep for flashing and it's something very important to note for anybody that's looking at picking up the 560s especially next we have rig c luna by gabe and just some thoughts here once again everything's laid out perfectly i think if you're looking for an example this is one to look at I find the most intriguing part going to be that Ryzen 3 1200. And I'm interested in the choice of going with something like this over the cheaper Intel option, especially since we aren't seeing what I would typically see. If I was going to build, for example, a Ryzen mining rig, I would probably go with a, an 1800, 1700, or 2700 along those lines because the hash rates are pretty good. And then I would pick up Vegas instead of the RX 580s, primarily because I would probably turn it into a Kryptonite light mining rig and not so much an Ethereum mining rig. So that's just my two cents on what I would do with a Ryzen mining rig. And I'm curious uh, what the purpose of the Ryzen 1200 is in that case. Superman, he gets best looks for the week. I think we can't really argue that. That mirror with the Man of Steel in the back is awesome. Of course, it is the Man of Steel actor, which I don't know. What's y'all's opinion on the movies? Because mine are kind of low, even though I'm a huge DC fan. I've been super disappointed lately. And then Rig A Octane, another perfect example. We have really good examples this week of if you're looking at building a rig, what you should be going for. Here you have eight matching RX 580s. You have all of the cooling that you're going to need laid out in basically a bread rack form. And this is a very good option if you're looking at how you want to put together a mining rig. Of course, on the very bottom there, since there is metal, be very, very careful that you have some sort of non-conductive layer between the bars and the motherboard and the rest of the components there. And make sure you don't have like the back of a GPU uh, potentially rubbing up against the frame there. 
at all. Just some thoughts right off the bat there. This one only has four gigabytes of DDR4, so that's gonna be right up your alley if you're looking at it. I don't know how necessary eight Corsair Quiet SP120s is gonna be because you are talking about some really expensive fans there, so just getting the return on investment could be significantly increased with the amount of fans and the price of those particular fans, but they are awesome fans for sure. I have no problems with them. I think they're a good option if you're looking for some. The hash rate, of course, is right on par, I believe there, because you're looking at about 30 mega hash a card. He does seem to be getting above 30 mega hash per card on all of these if his reported hash rate is true. So. Let us know what you're doing there as far as flashing and overclocking because that could be some good notes in the comments for people to learn from. Of course, if you guys are trying to learn about mining or any particular settings, you can always come hang out in our Discord, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. You can come over there. A uh, nice, good community for mining, gaming, PC modding, pretty much anything you could think of that goes up the alley of whatever is on my YouTube is also over in the Discord. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Mining Rig Wars. Don't forget to vote for your favorite rig up in the corner. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday.